Ladies and gentlemen, g'day, g'day, and welcome back to the channel. My name is Economics Beta, welcome back to another video here in World of Tank Splits. And in today's video, we're going to be talking about a very interesting topic, how to excel in ratings, or how to get better ratings, I guess. Um, I mean, the problem with ratings, I think, is that people need to understand ratings are not everything, right? If you really, really want to play ratings and you really want to show the player, like show other people and show your clan and whatever and your clan mates and your friends how good of a player you are, go right ahead. But I feel like ratings is really not what it used to be. It's just, man, it's difficult to win in ratings. But again, that's what people say. And this is what people have been asking, you know, many different contributors and many different content creators and, and people who are pros at the game how to get better at ratings. So if you do want to play ratings, if you are one of those people who want to play ratings, well, here are my, I guess, my strategies on how to get better in rating battles. I'm going to make it very simple, okay? You have to try to win, okay? Try to win. I know it's such a vague comment to say, you're gonna to try to win, you gotta to try to win. Yeah, that's all well and true. You need to try to win, right? Trying to win is very, very important even if it means putting in all the effort that you can and making sure that you focus fire on tanks, having total map awareness, ensuring that you support the different tank types in your team, right? If you go out in a heavy, make sure that you're supporting your tank destroyers and you're you're pushing hard onto their heavy tanks and you're pushing the, uh, what do you call it? The, the ridge or the bridge or the flank or the hill, whatever it may be, right? Do your level best, play your part as your tank type in order to win the game. Remember, a victory guarantees points, obviously. And please don't have this mindset that, oh, I'm just going to be passive, as in camp, and make sure I do more damage than my team. Doing more damage will not win you games. It's if you clear an enemy target. Remember, it's better to clear an enemy tank that has low health than try to get rid of, a, a, than try to basically get more damage and try to shoot an enemy tank that has full health. Because having one less gun in the in the game will actually benefit your team in the long run, right? So the mindset of, oh, I've got to do all this damage, I've got to do all this damage. Damage doesn't really count that much with ratings. It's how you play, how much experience you get. And on top of that, how much you contribute in the battle in terms of uh, getting kills, in terms of getting cap points, whatever it may be. So it's very, very important that you do that. If you, you're going to lose, essentially, if you have that mindset where... You know, I'm just going to be passive aggressive, or I'm just going to camp, and I'm just going to get them more damage. You're going to lose the battle with that mindset. And when you do, there's no guarantee that you're the lucky one who's going to get the points on a loss. Yeah, you can get points when you lose, but there's no guarantee you're going to get the points if you lose. So, yeah, that that would be my one of my top tips. Another tip would be be active. Just be active. Spot, spot for you, spot for the team. Do damage, lots of it if you possibly can. Kill low hit point targets, track enemy tanks, uh, cap any bases that you can, cap the bases if it's like just regular battles, cap, right, if you can, reset the enemy cap, do not camp, under any circumstances do you do you camp, don't camp, you never see in a professional tournament, right, in the Blitzmasters or the Mobile Masters, whatever it may be, right, or the Twister Cup, you don't see any of those players camping, and the reason for that is, there's no reason to camp. You shouldn't be camping because that is not how you win battles, right? So be efficient, be as efficient as possible because the more efficient you are in battle, the higher your combat XP will be. So even if you lose, even if you lose, you're still gonna get points since you have the highest XP in your, in your team because you were efficient in how you played and your play style. Remember, points are awarded to the losing team uh, what do you call it? Uh, and and remember, when you if your team loses, right, the points are awarded to the losing team and specifically to that one player who has the highest combat XP and not the player who has the highest damage. I want to make that absolutely clear. Picking up the highest damage in your team will not give you the points. If you lose, it's about 
XP. It's who has the highest XP. And having higher XP means, let's say you're in a T7 tank and you're playing in a tier 8 game, or you're in a T9 tank and you're playing in a T10 game, usually your XP will be higher because you decided to go and you damage the other the T10 tanks on the enemy team. You killed T10 tanks on the enemy team. You spotted those T10 tanks. You held yourself here. Yeah, you, what do you call it? You um, did damage against them and you bounced shots and you supported your team in the lower tier tank against higher tier tanks, you're going to get a much better uh, XP uh, in terms of that. And if your team loses and you have the highest XP, you will actually get points. And you won't lose any points. So that's the key. It's very, very important to know the, dis the difference between XP and damage. XP encompasses everything that you do in the match. Damage only encompasses one thing, which is, of course, damage. Just because you are top damage at, let's say, 3.5k, right, or, or 7k, or 8k, or 5k, on a loss, the points will still go to the other guy, uh, or the other player, who only did, let's say, 2,000 damage, or 3,000, or 4,000, right? But they were consistently spotting, they were being active, they were not camping in the back like you were, for instance. They were killing low hit point targets, they were killing enemies that were higher tier than them. They were crucial, they were resetting the cap, they were capping points. Very, very important. Um, so yeah, that's that, right? Try to win, help your team. Don't freaking camp. <laughs> Do not freaking camp. Now, I wanna, I wanna reiterate, the only time it is, quote unquote, permissible to camp is if you're a glass cannon. Uh, in other words, let's say, you're a Grill A15, or you're a, a Rheinmetall Borsig, or you're an ISU-152, or something along those lines where you don't have any armor, you don't really have a lot of hit points, but you have an incredible gun, then by all means, camp, provide cover, but don't stay in one position. Move around, maneuver around, like try to not be spotted, try to get into, into areas and, and, and positions where you have the most effective shots that you can take those big ass shots and you can clear targets and you can, uh, what do you call it? You can track those those enemy tanks while doing damage. It's very, very important, right? It's very, very important. And don't forget, <laughs> don't forget, there are people that say stuff like, you know, if you lose, get damage or kills, you know? Uh, you know, sack the teammates, you don't need them if you're about to lose. <laughs> There's <laughs> some people that would say that, um, I, I'm, I'm reading the subreddit by the way, um, and I want to give kudos uh, to uh, Ever Go, <laughs> Ever Go Night Night Ninja uh, for suggesting this, uh, well not suggesting, but like making this video possible by giving me the idea of talking about how to climb up in ratings even when you're losing, um, so you know, I give credit to him for doing that, or her, I don't know who they are. But some of these comments are pretty, <laughs> are very, very interesting. And then there's some other people that are saying, well, this is why I love to play rating. You get rewarded even though you lose the match. I want to reiterate, yes, you do get rewarded if you lose the match, but only under one circumstance, if you got the highest XP. If you didn't get the highest XP, right, then you will lose points, regardless of how much damage you did. Because unfortunately, damage is not calculated just specifically for XP. It's everything else. So I don't disagree, I don't agree with that specific point. Yes, you do get rewarded, but on one circumstance, if you're the highest in terms of XP. In regular battles, even if you get 5k damage, 5 kills, 5 spots, 5k block damage, and all the good stuff, it won't matter because you still lose because of incompetent teammates. And then we get, true that. <laughs> and then we have people that were saying, you know, it's... It's important to realize that um, you can't really gain points in losses because the level of consistency is sort of here and there, and it isn't, you know, it's, it's, it's difficult to say the least, right? Um, but I think overall, those are probably your best options. And just play a tank that you enjoy playing. Play a tank that you know you are strong in and that you know how to play inside and out and that you know you'll excel at. Don't just play any random tank. Play a tank you know for certain this is going to win the game, right? Because alternatively, you want to win, right? Ultimately, you want to win the match. You don't want to just try and get the most XP and then lose. No, you want to ultimately win the match. So if that means it comes down to you, then make a difference.
make a difference in that. Showcase your skills. Showcase how good you are. Um, you know, showcase how good you are basically at playing the game. It's very, very important that you, you know, that you essentially, you know, you do your best. You do your level best uh, at, at at the game, and you have fun. Just have fun doing it. You know, don't don't get annoyed. Don't get, you know. I guess, don't get pissed off, but anyway, at the end of the day, you win some, you lose some, you know, that old saying, you know, if you win some, you lose some, at, literally, at the end of the day is, you win some, you lose some, so, you know, anyway, it is what it is, anyway, guys, I'm going to leave, it, I'm going to leave it there, I hope you enjoyed the uh, video, and, you know, let me know in the comments down below what you'd like to see next, and yeah, take care of yourselves, guys, take care of your family, take care of your wives, your husbands, your children, and stay safe on the battlefield. Bye for now. <laughs> right. I will catch you soon. Thank you all very, very much for watching. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. <laughs>